Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. If you want to get a personal reading with me, which is, you know, we can work on your energy field. We'll look at what you need to work on, think about, experience, you know, all of that to open you up, especially around this time. I'm recording this around the 1010 portal of 2022. This has to do with your 3D world in, in a big way, okay? So getting a personal reading can help you facilitate that to make sure that you are clearing everything away that doesn't work for you or that's um, blocking out the good, all right? So we can look at that for you. Now, I did have a lot of people come in <laughs> for the 10 Den portal for personal readings. That's okay. I am loving it. I am just like, yes, and let's do this message. And yes, let's do this message. So go ahead and come on in. Even if you are seeing this right after the 10 Den portal, it's fine. You're going to be able to use this energy for a bit, right? And the uh, angels are constantly reminding us that time is not linear and that they can help you kind of, if you're ready go into that energy. Here is our card. But before we get onto this, please check the description box for upcoming lives. Like I'm going to try to do a 1010 portal follow-up as sort of a hangout. I usually price those a lot less than sort of the more educational ones. So you can check that out. I want to do a live session on, you know, how do you know if you're a light worker? Another one on what to do if you're a light worker, <laughs> all of that kind of stuff and the angelic self. So check all that out. I haven't gotten some of them scheduled just yet, but um, they're coming. So we have Divine Order Archangel Raguel. Raguel is all about playing nice with others. You've heard me say that before about relationships, but this isn't always, Raguel, it's not always pleasant. Raguel helps you figure out why you're not getting along with someone or why someone irritates you. 99.9999% of the time, it's because of you, <laughs> right? And even if you go and you point at the other person and go, yeah, but they're a jerk. Look at all these terrible things they do. Well, you still showed up for the jerk. Okay, <laughs> right? So everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. I feel like this might be... Some of you now trying to scramble to find new balance in your life and to figure out how to either allow some situation to go, how to open the door for something. Like there's this sort of like, it's not, it's a little messy, but it's not terrible, terrible. Okay. It's not like you get more information about something and I want to put the warning out there yet again. If you have somebody who has historically just been awful to you and they come back, protect yourself, right? You know, make sure you're safe. If this is somebody who is evil in the sense of um, using people, thinking that only they matter, you know, that sort of thing. I, and you might say, well, that's a little harsh to call them evil. I don't agree with you. I'm on this end of things. I'm sitting in the energy. I'm getting the information. They're not purely evil, but they got some, they got some crap going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> this might be you trying to figure out how to move past something once you've gotten some more information. So the other example I want to give, if you had somebody who was always taking advantage of you, you know, whether it's financially, emotionally, mentally, you're not allowed to have problems. They're the only ones that have problems. They're the only ones that matter. And they come back and say, I miss you. Yeah, I bet you do. Go home. Leave me alone. No. <laughs> right? So just be careful with your energy. Make sure if somebody does come to you and they want to have a discussion. I don't think, I don't get the feeling that there's anything wrong to listen to them. But observe. Make sure you're observing. If you have dealt with this type of person before, and they're coming back saying, I've changed, I've changed, I'm so good now, I'm so whatever. But then you hear all this diminishing talk that's kind of, for most people, under the radar. For others, it's quite obvious. Um, make sure you don't let that in, okay? We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.